Hello guys, this video will cover how to draw polygons and other surfaces. This is a very vital tool for manual topology as well as just detailing in general. So if you look at this kind of a uh, reference I have here, it's like we have kind of this uh, suit with this kind of insignia on top. And so how would we uh, model that? Well, I'll go ahead and start with a plane. Center it. Then I'll apply the poly. Now I'll go into freeform and I'll switch this from the default grid to surface and then I'll click right here and pick this object as a surface. I'll choose a very small value, maybe like 0.1 and I'll go ahead and start to use the conform tool. Actually not conform, step build. Alright, and so what I'll do right now guys is I'll just go ahead and uh, left click four times to create four vertices, hold shift and then hover in the middle to create this right here. As you notice it's probably too low. Let's do like one. Now you hold down Control shift alt to conform to the new value right here, the new offset value. So guys, all good programs have this, whether it's ZBrush or, or Moto or Blender. I'm just showing you right now kind of the, the max way of doing it here. Let me increase this. Let me continue to build this out. All right, I'll change the object color here so it doesn't quite stand out as much. I will now switch from step build to extend and we can simply extend and continue to hold down control shift alt to get this right here. Let's apply symmetry. And let's apply turbo smooth as well. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to check out the description where I have links to a more advanced courses such as on sci-fi design, futuristic vehicles, furniture, and more comprehensive advanced courses. All right, at this point, I'll switch back to step build guys and I'll kind of fill in the blanks here. I'm just holding down shift now. Sometimes though, I may need to insert some loops here and then readjust it. All right, we'll have a little triangle right here. All 
All right, guys, that was an example of how we can create objects by drawing them on top of another surface. And this, I think, is a very important tool when it comes to polygonal modeling, and definitely something you should master. And it can come in handy also with manual topology, which we'll cover in a future video. But manual topology essentially is using this process. But here, I'm not trying to retopologize this character because we already have good topology here. I'm just trying to build a suit on top. After we got this, guys, we can actually make more detail. For example, I can apply sh shell. I can go ahead and select this. And for example, inset. And then extrude. As you can see, we're getting these types of details here. And we can also do operations here to detail as well. All right. Next, let's create uh, one more example here, guys. Let's create this like uh, design right here as well. You can also use, for example, FFD to move things a little bit closer. I'll just go ahead and control shift to make a copy, clone it. This time I'll switch to this object and I'll decrease the offset. What I can also do, guys, is turbo smooth this and then uh, further adjust it to get like the hard angle here, for example.
All right, guys, so this is an example of how you can also model by drawing on top of surfaces for both new designs as well as retopology. Thank you for watching and take care.